found quite a useful tool to help us um, outwinter cattle and to reduce the diesel bill for feeding cattle over the winter time. <clears throat> so what we do is we make the silage in the summer months of July or August and the silage bales just get left in the field where they're made in the end time. We more or less strip graze these bales off, fencing the cattle off from where they were the day before. So it's really quite simple, um, but there's a few wee kind of things that we've learned over the years that helps to minimise damage to the field. So we used to um, move ring feeders every day and what we would find that when the cattle eat graze at a ring feeder or eat a bale at a ring feeder they actually cause quite a bit of poaching by digging into the bale with the front feet whereas now we don't even use ring feeders but what we do is we go out with a tractor and a quad bike and peel a week's worth of silage bales that we will graze with the cattle that week so we remove all the plastic and all the net we need the tractor so we can remove the plastic from the, the move the bale to remove all the plastic from the bale and then we simply strip graze those bales for the week fencing the cattle off from where they were the day before It works quite well, provided you don't have too many silage bales in the one area and also the cattle should be in a square area and not a rectangular area. Because what we find is we get more poaching with a rectangular area. Also the water trough should ideally be in the middle of the square. This reduces poaching as well. <laughs> 